Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of estimation with the four operations and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. Here's a sample problem that you might see on a math test. Let's say you have a refrigerator that can hold a total of 432 lemons. So far you have 18 crates. So I'm just going to draw a big long box here and I'm going to just put a few slashes here. I'm not going to draw 18 altogether because that's going to take way too much time. I'm just going to draw some arrows here. So I know there's a total of 18 crates. Inside each crate there are 13 lemons also known as a baker's dozen. A baker's dozen is 12 plus 1 so 13. So on and so forth until we get to 18. How many more crates can I put in the refrigerator? That's the question. Well, let's see how much we've used so far. I want to estimate. I don't need the exact answer, so I'm going to round my 18 up to 20. Rather overestimate here. My 13, I don't want to necessarily round it down to 10, so I'm going to round it up to 15. I'd rather have a little bit more room if necessary. So I'm going to use a compatible number. And I know my multiples of 10. 20 is a multiple of 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 15 times 2. So 15 times 2 is going to be 30, and then since that's multiple of 10, that's actually 20, so that means I'm going to add an extra 0. So 15 times 2 is 30, 15 times 20 is 300, because I add that extra 0 there. So I have about 300 lemons, and it has a maximum of a 432, so I have about 132 lemons left. But remember, they come in crates of 13. So how many sets of 13 can I use? Well, if I have 132 left, I know that 13 times 10 is going to get me 130, and that is really close to my 132. So I would say you have room for 10 more crates. Let's look at another problem where estimation might come in handy. Pretend you and your brother are having a contest to see who can roll the ball the farthest. Your little brother cannot roll it very far. He only manages 27.2 centimeters. You, on the other hand, completely outdistance your little brother, and you roll it 758.4 centimeters. You know you rolled it farther. You want to know how much farther, how many times farther. And so we're going to use some compatible numbers here. We need to find two numbers that are going to work well together and take a look at 27.2. That's going to be really close to 25. So let's change that to 25. 758.4 is going to be really close to 750. And so what we can do is we can compare these two using multiplication. And as of now, let's just go ahead and get rid of that zero. Let's just see how much farther is 75 than 25. And thinking of quarters, you know that that is about three times farther. But since that is going to be 750, we're going to have to add that zero back in. So it's going to be 30. So you rolled your ball about 30 times farther because 25 times 30 is going to be 750. And that's really close to the numbers we used. And now it's time for you to practice. Here's a sample problem. Let's say you and your best friend are combining all of your Pokemon cards. You have 462 cards. Your friend has 348 cards. You want to combine them and put them into a massive collection with a binder. And the binder is going to be filled with protective sheets. Now each sheet can only have nine cards per sheet. You're not going to do the back, just the front side. Nine per sheet, three rows of three. You want to know about how many sheets will you need in order to put your entire collection in there? Now this is an estimate, so your answer might be slightly different than mine, but let's see if we get close to each other. Go ahead and get out a pencil and paper and pause the video. When you think you have your answer, start it back up and let's check our answers. First we need to figure out how many cards we have all together. And I'm going to change 462 to 450 348 to 350. Those are compatible numbers because they're easy to add mentally. That's about 800 cards. Now I need to divide those 800 cards into 9 per sheet. And I know that multiplication facts 9 times 9 is 81. So if I take my 800 and rewrite it as 810, I know that I'll need about 90 sheets. So that should be your answer.